Welcome back to Behind the Sound. My name's Ardil and I'm really proud to introduce another one of our videos. In today's video, we're walking you around a little bit more about what goes on behind the scenes on a custom sound system. We're working on the Ferrari 355 GTS. If you haven't done so already, we've already filmed episode one, so make sure you head over, press the subscribe button and check out that video too. That is in the description below. In terms of today's video, we're showing you exactly where we're up to, kind of in between the stages and bits and pieces of what we're doing. So inside the actual engine bay, uh, sort of front boot area here what we're doing is running cables and running in uh, all the basically building a mount for the actual amplification rack that we're doing so steve at the moment is working on running cables through so the gold cables that you can see on the right hand side there they are oxygen free cabling ready for all the signals running into the audison thesis speaker system going into the front what we've also got is the power and grounds uh, also live directly there this is all basically designed to retain a couple of things. We've got the factory upgrade option or extra on this car, which is quite a rare option according to the customer, is actually the spare wheel. Full size spare wheel actually goes inside this area on some of these brown little straps. So they're actually being, actually being fully retained, plus also the original toolboxes for the car are also being retained with those factory straps. In terms of the amplification stage, we're using two amplifiers. First one is an Audison Voce Quattro amplifier running basically a fully active front end, running an Audison Thesis tweeter and an Audison Thesis sax, six and a half inch drivers in the door, which we'll go through shortly. Now basically running a fully active system and then we've got an Audison Voce Uno, one channel amp running the actual designated sub in the vehicle too. What we've also managed to do is add a processor into the vehicle too. So this is live directly here. So this is where the original cover used to sit, where you used to have a CD changer. So this is actually on a bespoke mount. It's obviously not installed fully yet, but it's on a bespoke mount that basically utilizes that space. So we're saving space there and also adding in the amplification rack. Obviously these amps are very, very big. So the amp here, obviously look at the size of it. They're absolute powerhouses. Not only are these showpiece amplifiers, but they're also incredible quality. In terms of this is the Audison Voce range. In terms of the different levels that you've got from Audison, you basically have got Audison Prima, you've got SR, you've got Voce, and then you've got Thesis. So we're using Thesis speakers on this occasion for the tweeters and the uh, midwoofers in the door. And then we've got the Audison Prima sub, which we'll go through shortly as well. So. In terms of the car, what's actually involved, so what we've managed to do is battery is located underneath this area here. We've disconnected that at the moment while working on all the electrics and we're running through cables, trying to run alongside manufacturer wiring. We've gone through a grommet down on this side to basically get all the cables through really neatly without having to modify anything at all. The reason why this back of this card is off at the moment is to gain more access and actually to configure the system so we can add a Audison Thesis sax into the door. The factory speaker location didn't allow for much depth, so what we've actually managed to do here is quite a lot of work, however, it's gonna sound absolutely insane. These are actually a fully 3D printed design here, housing the Audison Thesis speaker. This is gonna go into a custom door card, so we're actually putting the door card out slightly at the bottom, but you'd only kind of notice this look once it's all finished, the whole idea of it is that only you're going to really be able to notice it if you literally had two 355 GTSs right next to each other and looking at the door cards. The way we're going to be doing the final dressing of the whole system is going to look absolutely insane. It's going to look completely stock. It's going to look really, really nice. Plus, also, we've managed to get this speaker in, which is an amazing achievement. So that's basically all going in. There's a lot of fabrication work still to go on the actual door card itself. Um, we have also, at the moment, obviously got the whole vehicle stripped out. Um, we've got the dashboard out for one particular reason we're going to be adding in the Audison Thesis tweeter, an incredible speaker. Audison Thesis are one of the best speakers money can buy. It is an incredible asset to own, but also sound quality and reproduction of sound is absolutely phenomenal. I've actually got this same set in my vehicle myself and I use these all the time. We've actually got another vehicle, the Lamborghini Aventador, which we've done already behind the sound videos on. So make sure you go check that out. That's already live as well on our YouTube channel. There's more content to come on that as well. But Overall, we're going to be going through actually showing you guys behind the scenes on the behind the dashboard, how we've actually mounted that tweeter as well a bit later on in the video. In terms of the wiring, again, we've got the auction free cabling running here. As you can see, it runs alongside all the way alongside manufacturer wiring. And then we're going to have the sub right in the bottom, kind of in between that center console just underneath there. But manufacturer wiring runs alongside it means that everything's neat 
tidy, logical, and it's all done behind the scenes to the highest possible standards. The reason why we're doing these videos, guys, is not only show you what you can have done, but also to show you exactly what goes on, the level of detail that we go to. Everything, as you can see, not only is it cable tied all the way throughout, it's also labeled up, so anyone working on the car later on, they can easily identify anything um, to resolve anything or upgrade it as again, but everything's labeled up so that's the right tweeter signal and that will be going into the top of the dashboard there so we're going to head over to the actual dashboard now itself and we're actually going to be talking about the upgrade that we're carrying out here so Carl's going to be talking to you a little bit more about what's going on in terms of the build process of actually building in and getting the autosynthesis tweeter but as you can see here this is the factory position so this is pretty much how big the factory tweeter is very very small and then over here We've actually got the Audison Thesis tweeter mounted in a completely bespoke way. So Carl's been working on this 3D printing design, everything's done in house. We've also got these XC60 plugs, which means it's easily, when the dashboard needs to be removed for whatever reason, you can easily remove this connector without having to damage any of our wiring or anything like that. But I'll hand over to Carl and he can go through exactly what we've got up to, how we kind of built this and kind of problems we've also faced in building something like this as well. So, and the challenges and how we've kind of overcome that. Right, so it's taken quite a lot of time to sort of design the housing to try and hold this tweeter in place. The factory one was hanging off a tiny little bracket like that, sitting roughly about there. Now, when it comes to our tweeter, it's three times the size of the housing, let alone the original mm -hmm. tweeter. So that needs to sit in a roughly the same sort of place, somewhere along those lines. So, after quite a bit of time with the design software and a few various different testing models, <laughs> we've ended up with this. This piece will bolt into the back of the factory locations, like so, which will then allow for the tweeter to sit in place and this piece to then be sat just in front and with the shape of the flute there, that will then direct all of the audio straight out of the factory grill. Exactly the same way as, as the factory tweeter. So cosmetically from the other side of the dashboard, you're actually physically not going to be able to see anything then. Not so a it's a complete stock, hidden. complete stock look system, but also being able to retain facts that we're not modifying behind the scenes in terms of the dashboard and bits and pieces. It's literally a fully stock look. And as you can see there, the Audison Thesis tweeter directed into the dashboard, but obviously you're not going to see a thing because that factory housing and factory grill is going to cover that really nicely. So, a lot of time and detail goes into building any system that we do, especially on a level like this, trying to add in Audison Thesis speakers. And actually on the original spec of the system that I spec with the customer, we didn't actually go for the Audison Thesis tweeter in this location, mostly because we weren't sure how we'd actually manage to do it or be able to get that into the vehicle. But we have managed to do it. We have achieved what we thought was impossible and it's taken a lot of work to get to that stage, but it's well worth it. Sonically, it's going to reproduce the sound a lot better. Plus running off that Audison Voce amplifier, they're going to perform really nice. They're going to be powered perfectly as well. So overall, really, really happy that we're at this stage. We've also um, custom built the sub box as well, again with the XT60 plugs on there. So that's the Audison Prima sub uh, into a, going into again a stock location. So quite a funky design of an actual sub box. This is basically to create the right volume inside that box to actually be able to let it perform exactly and how we want it performing actually in the vehicle. It is a bit of an odd shape and obviously that does cause kind of some issues in terms of reproduction of bass frequencies coming from that box, but due to a lot of sort of technical knowledge inside that box, a lot of work's been done to make that flow in a certain way, but also padding inside and wadding inside to make that per perform really, really nicely. We've already tested this, because obviously with the design of it at the moment, we were quite concerned about actually how that was actually gonna sound. So we've actually tested that off the car, making sure that actually does reproduce sound how we want it to, and it does, it sounds absolutely brilliant. We do need to be careful, obviously, with a car like this, where it's gonna be located, obviously underneath the dashboard, 
there are bits and pieces from factory that obviously with the car of its age there are little bits that potentially could rattle and we've allowed time after the install's finished once we're during the testing stage to actually go through and check all of that but overall really really happy with the progress we're making so far there'll be plenty more videos coming on the actual 355 gts project so once the final install's done we'll also be filming a whole load on that as well so make sure you subscribe stay tuned to the channel so you know exactly what we're doing for that but thank you very much for watching guys we look forward to seeing you soon